Tonight on this program, we have psychic body scanner Janet Brennan. We have comedian Jeff Altman and my first guest tonight. He is the lead singer with what he calls a dirtbag rock and roll band known as Twisted Sister. All right, I have a copy here of their uh, current million-selling album called Stay Hungry. Please welcome <laughs> Dee Snyder. Hi, Dee. How are you? Good to see you. I'm bummed out already. What's the matter? I'm bu I thought they were going to play We're Not Going to Take It when I came out or something like that. They forgot? They didn't play anything. My real, dr my real dream, though, is to have, we talk about in the band all the time, to have at halftime one of the marching bands mm -hmm. play We're Not Going to Take It. Mm -hmm. You know, like... Bam, 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 bam. You know you made it when a yeah. marching band plays it. I don't know. They could have done it yesterday. I think, uh, I think did, Miami could have used a little of like that tune. You did, know? Did, uh, did, did you see the halftime show yesterday? The Super Bowl? real? It was bizarre, I could wasn't not it? believe it. Yeah. My favorite part was the guy flying around the uh, the stadium. Oh, that, I bet that's old, though. That's old. Remember the man from Glad commercials? Long time ago. I know I'm dating myself, but remember the man from Glad used to fly around in that white thing? I don't know. I've don't been know. dreaming about getting one of those things. Now, they, they ought to make those things, they ought to make them available to civilians like you and me. I know, every day. Just think of the traffic <laughs> situation. It could be just straightened out overnight. It would be great. What, uh, uh, what, you just got back from Japan, is that right? Recently? Well, I recently went there on a, a promotional tour. You know, we're going back there. Are you, uh, are you hugely month. popular in Japan? Yeah, we're pretty popular. I don't know. You know, they don't have too many people that look like me over there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I was really shocked because I was, you know, I was walking on the street and people, I stood out. You know, I didn't blend in. <laughs> I was, there's nobody that looked like me over uh, there. Now, but, how, do, how do the people react to you when they see you on the street? Do they approach you or are they. You just got too lot. No, I don't know. They're like, kind of. <laughs> You know, they're kind of... <laughs> they're... No, they are. Uh, they're very. Actually, they're very, very polite in Japan. You uh -huh. know, they. Uh, they say, oh, Mr. Snyder, may I have your autograph and that kind of thing? And yeah. they, most of them speak English. But the thing I'm really excited about is going there and bringing back real Japanese, what do you call um, paraphernalia? Things, things that are definitely <laughs> from that country. You know what I mean? Everybody comes back with kimonos. What's going on over there? Everybody comes back with kimonos. You can get a kimono in China. Japanese uh, paraphernalia. You know, things that are just from Japan to prove you're in Japan. What can you get to prove that I was in Japan? I got it. You ready? Yeah. From Japan, ladies and gentlemen, Godzilla merchandise. Oh, Come on. That's... Let's hold, hold it up to the camera. Get in close there. Now keep that camera on. Not only this is from my office, this is a wall plaque. I mean, oh. you can't get this anywhere. <laughs> National hero. <laughs> is this how? Let's hear it for Godzilla. That's Come amazing. On. Oh. You see? Yeah, you don't, you don't see craftsmanship like this in no, the States, he, do you? You just don't. And I got a Godzilla lighter, and I got Godzilla 1985 poster. Uh -huh. It tells you nationality, Japanese, and uh, it has all pictures of destroying cities, and I brought you some. There's a new Godzilla movie. They don't release them here anymore, though. That's the problem, you know? Mothra, all those good things. I brought you a Godzilla badge, because oh, I knew yeah. that you would probably be a big fan of uh, Japanese horror movies. Yeah, that's... Like, oh, there it is. Yeah. Look at that. Impress your friends with real Japanese paraphernalia. <laughs> now, what are you, uh, are these huge concerts? How many, how many folks show up when you play a concert in Japan? Seven, eight. <laughs> no, we have, no, we've never played there before. You've never played there before? No, we're going so there in we'll, March. It was a promotional visit. And we went there, there and it looked like things were going really good. Are you selling a lot of albums in yeah, Japan? Yeah, we're selling a lot. It looks like we'll probably go gold in Japan. Yeah. What is gold in Japan? What is I don't gold know. in There's Japan? There's a lot of people in Japan. Yeah. Tokyo is the closest thing I've ever seen in New York City. Any place I've been, it's very much except Similar, people big are city, shorter expensive. and dark hair. And, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> uh, now tell me about the name of the group, Twisted Sister. What does it mean? What is the origin? Where do you come from? Ah, uh, well, Twisted Sister. <laughs> you know, I know you have cable, so I know you see no, MTV. No, not for long. I'm fed up with cable. You're fed up with cable? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm I've been just hearing about, about your cable up. for so long, and yeah. now you're fed up. What's the I'm problem? I'm fed up. Well, I won't go into it now, but. Well, seats here for a minute. Let's talk about your the, cable. It's the same nonsense over and over and over uh, and over. I know, again. I know. That's yeah. a problem. That's yeah. a problem. Well, cable is dead. This is 85, it's over. What do you think? Uh, satellites now? You know, go for the dish? I think, I think, no, just back to commercial television the way the good Lord intended it to be. <laughs> like this. All right, now, twi twi Twisted, Twisted Sister. Twisted Sister. <laughs> Twisted Sister. The name Twisted Sister came from the way we looked, okay? We had the way we looked at the makeup and the costumes first, and then we tried to find names. Yeah. 
And it's like... What, now what, you, you must have been in other bands or other versions of the band you're in now. What was the, the first name that you had for the group that's now Twisted Sister? No, we never had a name. Brand we, new band. It was brand new band. Yeah. We tried to think of names. You know, you, when you're trying to... A lot of people have been in bands. Everybody sits around and you, like, throw anything at microphone. Oh, it stinks. You know, leprosy. Yeah. They grow on you. <laughs> they grow on you. That's yeah, good, what about yeah. leprosy? They rot. You know, I mean, I had a, was in a band that had a secret name. It was this. Uh -huh. They wouldn't tell me for a month until I got in the band. Name the band because it was so cool. I said, "What's the name of the band?" I said, "This." <laughs> I, said, I felt like who's on first? Yeah. You know, this. Oh, yeah, this. This. Yeah, this is great. This is happening. This is a wild. What about this sucks? <laughs> We have to do a commercial. We'll be right back with Dee Snyder. All right, now, so uh, from this to, uh, how did you get Twisted Sister? Twisted Sister. Well, Twisted Sister was a name given to us by an alcoholic. Oh. And uh, he called up, his name is Michael. I don't want to give his last name because I think he's in a coma. <laughs> and uh, I'm serious. <laughs> and uh, he's got problems. Anyway, and he called up JJ at 4 o'clock in the morning with his helpful name. You know, he uh -huh. had, well, that's our guitar player, JJ. And woke him up and said, JJ, I got the perfect name for the band. Oh, Michael, what are we talking about? Twisted Sister. Yeah. You know, it's a real drunk's name. You hold the S's and things yeah. like that, you know? So, and Twisted Sister was born. You know, and it's did, a great you, name. did you pay this guy for the name? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe to help him out of his condition there, you give him a couple of bucks. Well, if he comes out of the coma, maybe we'll throw him a couple of bucks. He went in before he went platinum, so what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, it's a mercenary world, now, folks. Is, you know? is, uh, is this the, the band, the Twisted Sister, that originally wore lingerie on stage, or is that another Well, actually, version? what it says, you used to dress funny on stage. That's what it says there. Yeah, used to dress funny yeah, on stage. Yeah, ha-ha, funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we wore some pretty weird stuff. See, like, I mean, now we have a costume maker. We've had her for a few years, and I married her, so price it down. I met them. That's Suzette. You met yeah, her Yeah, I met her. Very lovely woman. She didn't very get the nice Jack Klugman joke no, at no, all. Neither did the rest uh, of America, neither, but... Uh, <laughs> well, there's nothing to it. <laughs> No, it was just something silly. Yeah, it was something silly. But anyways, but before that, you know, you, know, you had wanted to get a reaction out of people. The cheapest way to go, go to the big and fat women's shop. And, you know... Do they have take, big and fat women's shop? Well, it's shop? not big and fat. <laughs> it's, 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 you could go to a mall. Barry and, White's sister's women's <laughs> shop kind of thing. <laughs> That's it. Come on, Saturday Night Live did it. Barry White, you know, big mm -hmm. and... Met. Yeah, no, big women's shop. And you go in there and you find something really disgusting. Uh, off the rack, you know, lingerie or something floral and, you know, blousy. Uh -huh. And you wear it on stage, and if everybody went, uh, it was a success, you know? That's, that's, that's how you do it. You, go, you try to get a reaction. That was the whole thing. Now, what, what, what was your family's reaction when you... When you uh, yeah. <laughs> do, do you have... Uh, uh, no, no, my family, they really were sort of, you know, sort of <laughs> anti-rock uh, and roll for many years. As a matter of fact, that, you know, the whole we're not going to take a thing was based like on my father and myself, you know. That was a typical confrontation yeah. with the rock and roll ruining my life. But and when I got the Twisted Sister, they finally gave in to the fact that this is what their son was going to be. And then when they found out their son was going to wear makeup and weird clothes as well, they sort of gave me the old, you know, it's okay. We're, we're behind you all the way. On my 21st birthday, they bought me a Samsonite makeup case. <laughs> Great. The first year of the band, it was the top of the line, you know, yeah. they went all the way, the train, <laughs> really nice little name, a D on the side, and, uh, and this was their way of saying, we're behind you, you may be, you know, weird, but yeah. we love you anyway, and go out there and kill them, so. Yeah. Nine years later. Well, that's very nice. So they're supportive in a, oh, in a certain yeah, well, way. Yeah, well, recently. The more yeah. famous they get, the more supportive they are. Now, so. you... Uh, <laughs> it's a convenient world, folks. Now, but you, but, uh, <laughs> wouldn't you agree that in a, in a certain respect, you are every American parent's worst dream come true? <laughs> <laughs> it's all the me or Paul Schaefer. No, no, no. no. Paul, but <laughs> but oh, you know, you know what I'm saying. They have, they have a, a little baby girl. They raise her. She gets to the point where oh, she's dating. Baby. All of a sudden, she comes home with you. You know. <laughs> all right, all right. We're talking. We're talking about. I mean, but I mean this in a good way. You know. <laughs> Oh, and it looks good on you. Yeah. Uh, you know, matter of fact, my wife's father threatened to kill me the first date. Ooh, well, she was 15, I was 21, yeah, so well. it had multiple reasons. Now, how do you get along with your in-laws? Well, Is that all cooled now? Money changes everything, somebody yes, said. You know, they love me now. Uh, now, tell me about, uh, uh, maybe you don't even talk about this. It was, uh, in Texas, you were uh, playing a date and there was an arrest. Is that true? Well, it's out in the open now, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep it hush hush in NBC, <laughs> millions of people watching. Oh my! And it's out in the open. Yeah, Amarillo, Texas. Hi, Amarillo. And what was the and what was the how George come? was 
profanity, abusive language, whatever that is. What is that? Was somebody actually physically in injured from the words you say? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, you're so, oh! so, and uh, disorderly conduct, very uh -huh. general thing. And th this was during the performance? Well, they wait until I got off stage. They didn't want to ride. No, 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 I mean you were arrested for what you were doing yes, on stage? on stage. Yeah. I, I, I curse a bit uh -huh. on stage. I'm known to use... Now, see, I didn't, I didn't realize that they could, they could go in and, and arrest you just because you were saying bad things on well, stage. Well, in Amarillo, Texas, I guess they can. But somebody, the, it wasn't the police. They didn't want to do it because they knew it was just going to be an MTV well, who special. Who was it? Like, sub it was teachers some, came in? And somebody, <laughs> somebody's uh, mother uh -huh. was there. This is the problem with success. There's a lot of little kids out there who must think I'm like a Muppet or something because they start coming out of the show, their mothers and fathers, little jokes, Muppet, okay, you're supposed to laugh there. And they bring down their parents, and their parents, the first thing we open the show, we go, hi, you know, this weird twisted Blanken sister. That's the uh -huh. opening, you know, effing. I said, F -E. that's not a curse. <laughs> Ying, jing, No, no, we, we got the picture. Yes, okay. And, uh, and uh, I, but the woman hung out for an hour and a half and listened so to every show. abusive word yeah. I said, and then press charges and had me arrested. I think she was getting off. So, so, so now what? <laughs> well, I'll say that. Oh, oh, did you hear what he said? Oh my so, God! So now, now, now what Can happens? You do where, that? But where does this stand now? Do you have to? Do you have to go back there for trial where the charges dropped? Or what As happened? I know, it's what they call it's the it's pending. Pending. You know, the whole thing is pending. It's, it's a word for not guilty, but not yeah. not guilty. Not so, on trial, but not off trial. But, it's so like, what? it's sort of, what do they call that when it's not heaven or hell? They, the Catholics have a place you go. It's kind of like that. Uh, what was it? Any Catholics? Are, purgatory. Purgatory. It's yeah. kind of like purgatory for courts. You know? No, but did you get the sense that the charges will be dropped? Uh... I get the sense that they don't want to have their addresses published on national television or uh -huh. anything like that, you know, which I'll be sure to do if I'm guilty. <laughs> and the officer lives at, and you know, and the woman who pressed charges. Now, have you had trouble in, in any other concert? Well, you know, you get a little, I mean, people are a little, get a little excited that we use profanity on stage. It's not really a big thing. We just really speak the way people speak to each other. But the hearing it on stage yeah. over like a 70,000 watt PA system kind of shakes people up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your mother is on, you know, one of those yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, uh, we're, we're out of time, but now do you do I'm any of this stuff on, this. On, on, on the show with Eating this Eating bones. Oh, that was, that was just imagery. Come on, let me yeah. have your art class and all yeah. that. See, I mean, I'm supposed to be stay yeah. hungry. I'm like a trapped no, animal in a room, yeah. and it's a leg, human leg bone. Okay. And uh, Listen, thank you very much for being here. And, yeah, I, and I'm the, glad you're doing so well. Excited. I love this <laughs> show. Good luck in Amarillo. Right. Uh, we got to go here for safe night identification. We'll be right back.